Hello everybody, what is up? It is the Arctic Platypus here today, and 7 Days to Die just updated today at like, was it around 3.30 p.m. Pacific time? But it was awesome, I'm so excited to review this with you guys. It's alpha 7.8, 7 Days to Die, so excited. The first thing I have to talk about is that there are many, many new textures. First of all, the texture for your hands is freaking oh, beautiful, it's gorgeous. It's like a real curved hand, unlike that pointy object that used to be on your screen before. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that they removed your legs and feet and chest. It's kind of annoying, because that was you kind of unique. I mean, not very, many, not very many games have a chest and feet visible below you. But, I don't know, it's not that big of a deal. Maybe they'll add it back, maybe they won't. I don't really care. Um, also, most of the weapon skins have been made into very, very high-quality skins. Uh, the hunting rifle hasn't been changed, and the sniper hasn't been changed. A few of the guns haven't been changed, but most of them have, and they look very, very beautiful. Also, many of the sounds have been replaced with better and more appropriate sounds, like trees, I think, have the sound to break trees has changed, the sound to break grass has changed a lot of sounds, I can't go over them all at all. Uh, the sound for shooting has changed, for shooting some of the guns, I, I'm not going to go all over it, but anyways, there's some better graphics and optimization, f uh, there's now, the game runs better and more smoothly, just overall, there's also HDR lighting, bloom effects, and adaptive exposure, which increase the graphics quality by a shit ton, it's like, actually, I don't really notice much of a change, but anyway, the, the sunset looks beautiful it looks gorgeous as you can see over the top of the roof the sun just shines over that roof and it's just like ah oh, yes sunsets and sunrise i don't think i ever saw the sunrise because i was stuck indoors shooting zombies with a 44 magnum oh god no i i was gonna like have a big whatever i was gonna be really like excited about the 44 magnum i kind of just revealed it anyway there's a freaking 44 magnum it's the most kick-ass gun I've ever used. It's a damn beast. As you can see on your screen, the zombies just get mowed down. They get owned. The bullet, freaking massive 44 caliber bullet, goes through those things' heads, and it's just like boom. And it, um, it's awesome. It's so cool. Uh, I love this gun. I love the 44 Magnum so much. But it's kind of funny because guns are really aren't very useful anymore since it's a stealthy game now, and the more shots you put off, the more zombies spawn. So it's kind of like, it's really not intelligent to use guns, but it's just fun anyways, because they're awesome still. I feel like you should be able to add silencers to your guns, but obviously a 44 Magnum cannot take a silencer. Anyways, there's now recipe books, which allow you to, re um, which allow and require you to learn the weapons. You, you don't know any guns off the bat. You have to learn how to craft them. And that's really cool because no one knows how to craft a 44 Magnum. <laughs> I don't know how to make a 44 Magnum. I mean, I would just like st stick a bunch of metal together and I would probably make some sort of like dildo firing mechanism. I don't know what I would make. I could not make a gun. So I would have to use a manual. And that's really cool because they're trying to make this game really realistic. That's one of the things they've said in the past. They've said that. They've said they want to make the game as realistic as possible. I, th I really respect that because I love realism in games. Anyways, there's now also tungsten ore, and instead of all the ores popping out of one block, there's also there's a block for each ore underground. I think that's pretty cool because it m makes the uh, underground areas, underground caves, more varying, and it looks just way more way cooler. There's also antibiotics and antibiotics. Oh, I'm not gonna say it correctly which cure the new zombie infection debuff, and as you can see on my screen, a zombie hit hit me and I got the zombie infection. I didn't really get to see what it did to me, but I'm, I assume it kills you over time. I'm, that's what I would assume, I'm not sure, but it's cured with antibiotics, uh, and it would make sense that it would kill you over time because it's an infection. Also, bandages can cure the new critical damage debuff, which will cause you to just take a ton of damage. And the critical damage debuff is also given to you by zombies, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's also new options for loot respawn time and loot abundancy, as seen on the screen. The loot respawn time, you can choose, like, uh, 7 in-game days, 10 ga days, 15 days, I don't know. It's good for really big servers, because I once played on a really big server, 
and it was on day like a hundred or something there was no loot anywhere literally no loot you could only farm stuff and mine stuff and it was really difficult to get anything and that actually wouldn't work anymore because you couldn't get the new uh, books to learn recipes and I bet there's probably a few issues with the big servers currently with this new update anyways that's the loot respawn time really will help that there's also a command system for servers which can spawn zombies and other entities and can ban and kick players which is very useful because they didn't have that before and doing that in game is a lot easier than going to a different console and doing it there also a, a fairly game changing uh, like thing that they added was the fact that the ammo does not need to be in your tool belt y it used to be that if you had a pistol you have to have pistol ammo in your tool belt but now you can have it in your backpack and that makes a lot more space in your tool toolbar so you can have like way more stuff down there which actually changes the game gameplay quite a bit another thing is when items are picked up they will fill the backpack instead of your toolbar that's very cool because I used to get really really pissed off when it's like I would pick up the rocks and they would go into my toolbar instead of my backpack and I put them into my backpack manually then the new ones that I picked up would go to my toolbar again and I just gave up but, um, I think that's all that's all that I saw that's all that I saw on the changelog and in game really really cool stuff very important very big stuff I'm pretty sure it's pretty big update I would say uh, I would I was kind of hoping for the smooth terrain to be fully added in by now but I think they said by alpha 8 that will be done I mean I was getting really excited for it because they uploaded a screenshot of the smooth terrain apparently they just haven't added that into the full re like the full release to the public yet so I hope they do that pretty soon but anyways this is still a really good update I'm very satisfied and there's also a few things that I that I've noticed which are not functional yet but they're in the creative menu which will probably be added relatively shortly there's a SWAT helmet some night vision goggles a cigarette a cigar some sunglasses and a Kevlar helmet those things are gonna be really cool I assume I don't know what cigarettes and cigars could be used for but anyways those other things are gonna be awesome like night vision goggles you could see in the night that would be cool, so cool but those things are gonna be freaking sweet when they're added and officially just saying it's gonna be in the future it's not right now they're just in the creative menu and I just noticed those I wanted to share those to share that with you but anyways I hope you guys really enjoy enjoyed this overview of this update and I hope you're uh, very satisfied with my review anyways thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day see you all later Peace.